this uh, this is going to be an origami Archaeopteryx, uh, which is called the first bird. It's a really important um, animal for for paleontology. But um, it's a, whether or not it's actually a bird or it's a dinosaur very close to the edge of birds is, I think, still a question. Um, but it's a one of the smaller theropods, and we do have specimens preserved with feathers, so it's a really, it's a really interesting animal. I've been folding origami since I was about six years old, and I've been interested in dinosaurs since I was three. Um, I started off folding folding origami dinosaurs just because I was interested in both of them and it uh, seemed like a really natural kind of synthesis of the two of the two things so so if I'm designing a new model we're going to approach it from what's called the crease pattern uh, which is the map of creases you would see if you were to unfold the finished model right and so a crease pattern is just a map of, of lines on a square sheet of paper but to an origami designer, that's instructions for how to fold a model. And uh, encoded within those creases is what part of the paper goes to what part of the model and how you get there. And once you've got that base, then you can go about shaping the model. So if I'm going to design a new model, I will start with whatever it is that I want to fold and then try to envision what part of the finished model will come from what part of the square. And once I've got that general layout kind of in my head, the next step is to assign creases to that. And so you have to go, and there's a th series of different techniques you can use to do this, but going from this kind of general layout map to a crease pattern. And once you've got this kind of crease pattern in place that gives you your desired layout, there's a series typically of iterations. You go back and forth. You go from a crease pattern, and you fold it, and you find out that you screwed up like seven different things. And so then you make a new crease pat pattern that addresses hopefully at least half of those. And you kind of work back and forth until you've got the crease pattern where you want it, and you have, you have a design you're happy with. And uh, from there, then I can go about kind of folding the final, the final thing. And something about the process of designing it is is something that I really enjoy because you're going, you're approaching this problem, doesn't really make any sense, you're going back and forth, but finally things start to click, you know? And sometimes you get, you get just a chain reaction and this works and that makes this other thing work. Sometimes you don't at all. Sometimes it's a massive headache. But a lot of the design process is, is really enjoyable to me 